boys and girls. How are you? Welcome to another Faith Over Fear Bible lesson. I hope you had a wonderful Easter. What did you do to celebrate the day? My family and I went to church, and later during the day, we went out for dinner. Do you remember last time we talked about Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem? And we talked about how Jesus was going to die to save us from our sins, but he didn't stay dead because on Easter Sunday, he arose and went to heaven to live with God. What a great reason to celebrate. Yes, yes. I hope you and your family had a wonderful Easter. Now, let's go ahead and see what our lesson is for today. Our story is about a powerful woman leader who led the army of Israel. Her name was Deborah, one of the many judges of Israel. Long ago, before Israel had kings, there were judges who led the country. Today, it is not all that unusual to see women in high leadership positions. Just think, Kentaji Onika Brown was just chosen to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States as a judge. That is the highest court in the land. You will hear more about her in our Black History Highlight for today. So sit back as the story is told after our prayer and opening song. for loving me and giving me your all. When I grow up, I will still be serving you. I want to know you more. I want to love you more. I'll never forget you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. of Israel had conquered much of the land, the Canaanites oppressed them, and the general Sisera continued to march forward. No one person had taken it upon themselves to defeat Sisera. For who could? Not just any random citizen. Who are you calling random? But could a general? Or a prophet? 
Barak. What is it this time? You must take 10,000 men to the Kishon River, where you will find Sisera and his army. God will deliver him into your hands. Sisera? Have you seen his army? Iron chariots. What do we have compared to that? God. Okay. We'll go. But only if you come with us. I'll come along, but know this. The victory will not belong to you. People will say that a woman defeated Sisera. Rise! This is the day that God gives Sisera into your hands! Every last one of the Canaanites was destroyed, except one. I gotta get out of here. Exhausted, Sisera arrived at a random citizen's tent, looking for help. I'm not random. I have a stake in this matter. Hava, I need help. My husband's not home. What's wrong? The battle. The Israelites are decimating us. Tell your husband we need his help. It's time for you to choose sides. Oh, we've chosen sides. We're just letting him get away? He won't get away. I thought you I would... said a woman would finish him. I didn't say it would be me. Thanks for letting me hide here. Shh. Just get some sleep. I just thank you for the milk. <laughs> Anyone comes to your tent and asks if there's a man here, you must say there is no one. And so, because of one random citizen... <clears throat> With the incredible act by the amazing Yael, the land was at peace for 40 years. Until the Israelites started sinning again, lost God's favor, got conquered, turned back to God, and started the cycle of judges all over again in Gideon versus the Midianites. Wow, what a great story. Deborah was very brave, and she was truly a woman of God. She was a prophetess, which means God spoke to her, and she delivered messages to the people. Sometimes people don't always believe that women can do the same work as men, and sometimes do it better. God used Deborah to lead in this battle instead of Barak. Barak was first called by God to fight this army, but he was fearful and would not go unless Deborah went with him. Deborah agreed to go with him, and together, victory was won. Barak showed that he was not afraid to show he needed help. Sometimes we need help to do certain things that we may find hard or difficult to do, and we shouldn't feel afraid or embarrassed to ask for help. Perhaps you've been in school and your teacher gave you some math problems to do. You got to one problem and didn't know how to solve it. Do you just sit there or do you ask your teacher or a friend to help you? If I know you, you raised your hand and asked for help. And it doesn't matter whether it was a boy or a girl who helped you. Although Deborah and Barack worked together to win this battle, Neither one of them would have been victorious without God. Without God, the battle would have been lost and there would have been no victory for Israel. It is because of God that we can do the things we are able to do. He gives us the victory in all things. We must always remember to thank him for everything he does for us. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. Please share this story with your family and friends. At this time, we will have our Black History Highlight followed by our closing song. Until next time, boys and girls, bye-bye.
Hello, everyone. My name is Reverend Alvin Kali, or you can call me A.C. Edwards. Today, I would like to talk to you about Katanji Onyika Brown, who was born on September 14, 1970, in Washington, D.C. Her parents, Johnny and Ellery Brown, wanted to honor their ancestry and asked a relative serving in the Peace Corps in West Africa for a list of African names for their daughter. The name they selected, Katanji Onyika, means lovely one. Jackson did well in school while growing up in Miami. At Palmetto Junior High, she was selected as a school mayor. She became president of her class at Miami Palmetto Senior High School and was voted most likely to succeed and stood out on the school's vaunted speech and debate team. Jackson excelled at oratory, traveling across the country for speech competitions, and becoming a national champion. Her visit to Harvard University for one competition inspired Jackson to apply to the Ivy League school. She enrolled there in 1988. Jackson's college experience included joining an improv trope on thin ice. She also performed in a production of Little Shop of Horrors and was once a scene partner to Matt Damon in drama class. In addition, Jackson focused on her studies and future legal career. Her senior thesis was The Hand of Oppression, Plea Bargaining, Processes, and the Coercion of Criminal Defendants. She graduated Magna Cum Laude in 1992. Prior to law school, Jackson spent a year working for Time Magazine and serving as an intern for the Neighborhood Defender Service of Harlem. In 1993, she entered Harvard, Life, Harvard Law School. She became an editor on the Law Review and graduated cum laude in 1996. Jackson married Patrick Graves Jackson in 1996. The pair met while they were both undergrads at Harvard. Through their backgrounds, though their backgrounds were different, Jackson was a black woman whose guidance counselor had discouraged her from setting her sights on Harvard, while Patrick was a white man whose family members had attended the university for generations, and they fell in love. Jackson and her husband, who became a surgeon, have two daughters, Talia and Layla. In 2012, Jackson was nominated by President Barack Obama to join the United States District Court in Washington, D.C. The, the Senate confirmed her by voice vote in March of 2013. On this court, Jackson's notable cases included a 2019 ruling that President Donald Trump's former White House counsel could not use executive privilege to avoid a congressional subpoena. Her decision noted presidents are not kings. On April 19th of 2021, President Joe Biden nominated Jackson to join the U.S. Court of Appeals. Her Senate confirmation hearing had some contentious moments, such as when one senator asked Jackson if she, if she had been concerned that her role as a public defender had returned criminals to the streets. Jackson answered that her work had been a crucial part of the justice system. In April of 2022, Jackson was confirmed with a 53 to 47 vote with the support of 50 Democratic senators and three Republicans. Thank you, Judge Brown, for your hard work, determination, and integrity, making her a wonderful role model for all, but especially females and people of color. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes.
Now, get your sword is the word now. Hold your shield for your fate now. 